And welcome everyone to another episode, another video cast from the Freelance Teacher World Wide Web dot Freelance Teach the Freelance Teacher dot com. Uh, and think about that the, in, in the spirit of today's video log, V log, video post, YouTube channel production. Uh, does anyone say World Wide Web dot anything anymore? Right? It's just the website, right? The Freelance Teacher dot com. I could just say that, and it would suffice. I think. Um, uh, that's that really seems to be how things go now. But uh, you're I, I, it, one of the things about younger people today is, you know, back when the internet was brand new and still comparatively new, which is in line with what we're talking about today. The uh, the old days, you said www dot or World Wide Web dot, and then the site. So now those days seem to be over to some degree, um, and people just you know, go to the site and assume that the URL, and now another term, URL, Universal Resource Locator, a lot of young people don't know. Um, I said URL in front of the freshman the other day, and nothing happening. What's a URL? You know, what do you mean? Um, but when it was new, we knew all of these terms. They were new and exciting and, and fresh and all of this kind of stuff. So... Um, I guess those things have changed. And it leads me to what we were talking about briefly today uh, in that we're talking about the, uh, I don't want to say the new economy because it's not necessarily new, the electronic economy, the online economy to some degree. But I was listening to a podcast, by uh, the, um, the Ripple Effect podcast, and he was, the host was talking with James Corbett, who does a fantastic website called The Corbett Report. If you want independent news and independent analysis and no commercials and things like that, a place like the Corbett Report is a place to go. And he does documentaries. I mean, the guy's entire show is online. His whole life is online. As a matter of fact, uh, he mentioned to the guy on The Ripple Effect that it's been about five years now that he's not done a side job or a regular job, that his job now is... Corbett Report. His entire thing, he, his, he makes money from the Corbett Report. He is a podcaster. And that's remarkable because he says, uh, Corbett mentioned something quite astute in that, you know, 10 years ago, if you had said, um, forget about during, when, when we were younger, uh, 20 years ago, 10 years ago, if you'd said, what do you do for a living? Meaning, what do you do to pay rent, to pay your mortgage, to put food on the table? Oh, I'm a podcaster. That would have been an impossibility. People, A, wouldn't have known what you're talking about. And B, it would have not been possible, I don't think necessarily, to come up with that as a job, as an as a way to earn money. And now it is. So I get, um, I get students, because I work with teenagers, who are intensely curious about what they can, should, or will be able to do later on in the future. And um, it's a very difficult question to answer when they ask me a good question as to what should I do. I don't know what I want to do. And, you know, the many of the adults in these people's lives are stuck in an older paradigm, to use a tired word from the 1990s. Uh, And they really are stuck because what they're told by many well-meaning people, guidance counselors, teachers, other adults, um, mentors... You know, go to high school, graduate from high school, go to college, get a college diploma, and then you'll be able to get a good job. That is the entryway into a quote-unquote good job. And they're talking about a nine-to-five kind of standard job. And, uh, you know, there are there are instances where that's possible for sure. Uh, I don't, you know, they're, they're, it's not quite as cut and dried as it used to be. And I think things are more difficult. And I do know that university tuition is completely out of control. Um, so what to do? And at, at the end of the day, you can say, well, why don't you get a job and then work on your craft and become a podcaster? Now, that may sound ridiculous, but, you know, it, it is possible. I don't know how possible it is compared to being a truck driver or uh, a high school English teacher. But these things are possible. And Corbett brought it out very well by saying that his life could never have been predicted before. 
And so the online economy and what to do and how to handle your future and what to think about with regard to what you like doing versus what you want to do versus what makes money for you, these are all much more complex. And so my my last message to teenagers uh, who listen to this and watch is very simple. You have to consider the source of what you of of who you ask with what to do with yourself later uh, when you're done with high school because some of the paths are not able to be predicted by the people you speak with and so you have to to use another tired phrase I guess this is the tired phrase video you have to think outside the box you have to think very carefully and look at all of the various different things online offline brick and mortar service industry type things that are available that are lucrative and that are able to be done by you. So think about everything from um, basic old style jobs, careers, to someone like uh, Corbett, James Corbett of the Corbett Report, who is a podcaster for his job. That's what he does. And that would have been impossible to predict um, just in the same way as the people who tell you that, well, that that's not a great thing to do. You know, people in the, in 1907 would have told you don't go, you know, you don't want to get into the car industry. It's, you know, it's brand new. It's, it's now it's all done, right? Those, those 17 companies that have made cars, forget it, right? Don't, don't go into automobiles. They would have said the same thing. So, uh, keep that in mind, look around carefully and think about things that, that, uh, that you're good at and things that earn capital and things that can get you moving forward. And when a better choice comes along, you take that. All right, this has been The Freelance Teacher at worldwideweb.thefreelanceteacher.com. Have a great day. Talk to you next time.